Hello, hello, dears, and welcome back to the channel Benidorm by Anna. And welcome back to the sunny and gorgeous Benidorm's news update and Spanish news update. We are here in the lovely, small, green, and sunny park situated in Brincon Deloitte, right next to the hospital Ahmed Levante on the back side of it. Uh, and it's a gorgeous and pleasant day. So, when outside, to let you know what's going on in our region so grab some drinks grab some snacks make sure you subscribe click like and comment below this video to help youtube algorithms to push us forward and reach more audience we really really appreciate it let's start with the situation in tourism right now shall we as you all know the tourism season started right during the easter holidays this is the official start of a summer tourism season which will be up until the first days of november usually 4th of november is when the summer season ends and we officially enter the winter touristic season during this time summer season aka we um are supposed to receive the record amount of tourists everything is ready the beach line is clean they're cleaning it non-stop every single day several times a day uh, there is lifeguards there's a lot of nice attractions and water sports available for you all the boat trips are available theme parks are slowly but surely opening up for the summer as well hotels were really really busy the, this weekend when we've had the eurovision um not here in benidorm but we had a huge party with live retransmission from eurovision in the park and by the techno kit and there were thousands of people there it was actually incredible and thanks to that hotels had the occupancy of around 86 percent on average which is quite a big deal for the month of may and it's not the biggest one we will have around 96 97 sometimes even fully booked in a lot of hotels for this summer and if you still didn't book your holidays book them now because you won't be able to fit in any kind of hotel this summer it's going to be really full a lot of hotels are saying they only have a few spots left and the prices will increase probably by the time you will be willing to book it. So make sure you have your holiday apartment, hotel, hostel, campsite, whatever you want before. And don't wait for a last minute because there won't be any kind of last minute offers. The same more or less as it was last year. The second news that I wanted to share with you all is about the beach line of Benidorm. Benidorm beaches are obviously very, very tentative. It's a great area. There are several beaches. There is the Levant Beach, which is the most popular one, full with restaurants, bars, cafeterias, shops, services, uh, different types of businesses, all oriented toward tourism. And obviously, the vast majority of hotels are situated around that area. Then there is La Cala Malpas, which is in the old town, a tiny but gorgeous beach surrounded by natural stones of the old town. And it's ideal for snorkeling. It's not too deep at all, but it tends to be quite busy in summer. So go or very early or late in the evening slash night time. And then obviously we have the Poniente Beach, which is the quieter sister of the Levante Beach. It's a very long beach. There's no stones in the water. It's great for beginning swimmers or for small children. There's plenty of room to enjoy because it's not as busy as the Levante Beach actually is. And on this beach, on the Poniente beach, we've seen a very, very interesting scene, which is this one. Uh, this is a vehicle, normal vehicle, that just somehow ended up on the Poniente beach. Right after the rainbow colorful road, somehow it went directly to the beach. I don't think that navigation systems work that bad now, so they would bring it directly to the beach saying there's a road there because you can see there's none. But the thing is that police officers, while making a usual like patrol, they were driving down the streets to see if everything's all right early in the morning, and their surprise was that there was a car in the middle of the Poniente Beach. It was stopped, there was no one around, people were inside. And obviously they had to go to see what was going on. Maybe someone got injured, who knows, or someone was feeling sick, you know, something happened, lost control of the car, whatever it is. But why then no one called the police to report it? When they went there, obviously the driver was there with their co-pilot, with the other passengers. And um, there's no official information. 
on why this car was on the Poniente Beach on the sand itself? Leave your guesses here down below. What do you think could be a valid reason to drive inside of the Poniente Beach? I cannot think of any except for the GPS issues, but you see where you're going. So that also wouldn't be a logical reason to do so. Let us know here what the other ideas could be because no one says it. Obviously, police officers know it, but officially this information has not been disclosed just yet. But it was something interesting. It was something strange. And I personally, in all these 11 years, have seen it not even once. I personally think that as the time goes by, we will see more and more strange things here in the area. Summer is usually the time when there is a lot of heat. You know, it heats the brain of some people. And some people do just really silly, dumb, but funny as well things here in town and we see it every now and then not really often but this is one of those things that you never would have ever expected to see in town and we just randomly uh, did so you never know what might happen let us know if you've seen some kind of curiosities here while you were on holidays if there is something strange something irrational illogical that you remember seeing here in Benidorm town would be really really interesting to know it but this right here definitely is this year's first one. Let's see what else is waiting for us in this year 2024 summer season. And now let's talk about the last news, which is a very interesting, very important news in terms of traveling between different cities in our region. As you all know, from Alicante, we have a, a tram that goes directly towards Benidorm, and then this, the other line of the tram connects directly with it and goes up until Denia. Tram traveling is great if you need to go to different cities, if you want to explore them using a public transport, because buses don't run to all these places, public buses we mean. And uh, this is actually a great way. This year, finally, there is going to be a brand new central station in Alicante that will connect different transports. We would have loved you cannot even imagine how much to give you the news that there's finally going to be the tram from the airport of Alicante Elche towards Alicante and then connecting it with other cities and Benidorm. We would have loved to do it, but so far it's not the case. It doesn't mean it's not going to be happening. Uh, there is a future project that has been here for decades and decades, uh, a lot of many years, even before I've moved to Spain. Uh, and this project was contemplating, was thinking, and the purpose was to connect Alicante Airport with a train or with a tram, with Alicante as it is. And then from there to spread with buses, with trams to our area, with uh, trains, etc. So there was this project. So far, this central brand new station will be located right next to the train station of Alicante, Renfe. And it's going to be right nearby. So this will be connecting all the main lines, line one, two, three, and four of tram. Uh, first line is going towards Benidorm, by the way, which is great. Uh, and this is going to be a brand new one. It's going to be a better service. It's going to be a better way for people to travel. In case you travel by train from some specific parts of Spain, you will be able to get directly from the train towards the tram and come to our region. Uh, this is the first step. I do think think and I do feel that the only logical way in the future would be to connect the airport with this brand new central station. Probably this is what's going to be happening. It's not disclosed just yet, but it's only logical to think if they're connecting the trains with the tram and with buses, why not to connect it with the airport, right? That would be something that a lot of people will benefit in our region both locals when they go on holidays and come back or need to travel somewhere due to work leisure etc and especially tourists of our region imagine having a tram directly picking you up near the airport and there's plenty of space to do it there so there shouldn't be any kind of issues train picks you up from the airport and brings you to Alicante and then you just cross to another train and go to Benidorm that would be great probably it would be a slightly long ride but it's worth it. A lot of people would be using this service if it would be available. So this station will not be open right now this year. It will start to be built this summer 
and probably in a year's time, maybe, hopefully for next summer season, it will be available. And maybe in the future, who knows, the airport will also become a reality. Let us know if you're using public transport here in the country, if you used the tram, and if you would like to have a train directly connecting with the Alicante airport. I think that would be a great idea. And now let's have a short walk and let's talk about the weather here in the region because it's going to be so, so nice and warm. Let's go. As you can see, the weather is gorgeous today. There is blue, blue skies. The sun is shining quite hard this day and it's simply a gorgeous weather without any kind of strong wind just a teeny tiny bit but it's great to explore there might be some clouds these following days but it's nothing major north parts of spain might get some rain as they usually do that's also not a surprise at all uh, but that's basically it tomorrow there might be some fog here in the area but nothing major all the entire week it's going to be sunny with just a tiniest bit of clouds as for the temperatures right now we have around 23 24 degrees on the sunshine and in so south parts of spain we already see 30 plus 31 plus 32 so the heat is coming it's slightly slower coming to our region but it is coming here because south spain already is experiencing all of it Tomorrow we'll have around 27, 28 degrees, which is quite a lot, I must say. But all the rest of the days, it's going to be more or less like today, 23, 25 on the sunshine during the peak moments. And these will be the skies we will have in our region. Not bad, isn't it? Thank you for accompanying us on today's latest Benidorm news update. We wish you an incredible day, great holidays if you're coming on once, and we'll see you here on the channel very very soon don't forget to click like subscribe and comment on this video to help us reach more people that are fans of spain costa blanca and especially benny town bye geez.